Former Minister of Youth and Sports Development Sunday Dari has appealed to Muslims in the country to use the period of Ramadan to be kind towards their neighbors and pray for President Bola Tinubu, as well as Nigeria. Mr. Dari made this call in a Ramadan message where he also called for peaceful coexistence among Nigerians. According to him, this Ramadan is a renewed opportunity for the Muslim faithful to seek God's forgiveness, give up bad habits, and exhibit good deeds in line with Islamic teachings of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. The former Minister of Youth and Sports, Sunday Dari, joins me now on the news to discuss his Ramadan message and other national issues. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Thank you so much for having me today. So you are talking about the need for Nigerians to support President Tinubu at this time. Precisely what are you asking them to hold on to in the face of the um, economic challenges, um, the skyrocketing price of food, add to it the latest development with insecurity? Thank you very much. I think the, the mantra for this administration that of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, right from the campaign period, rested clearly on renewed hope. And uh, that message and that mantra is very strong. We have seen uh, this administration move in that direction. But we have also had to deal with headwinds, strong headwinds, having to do with tough decisions that had to be taken. And of course, that centers around the fact that whatever is going on is an attempt to make sure that the hope of this country is renewed, that we, the button is reset, and that the man at the center right now is such a person that is adept at what he is doing, and we need to support him. It is a country uh, of religion, a country of prayers, and we use moments like this, whether it's Ramadan, whether it's Christmas, whether it's Easter. Luckily, we have both the lengthening period and the Ramadan coming together again, as it's done in the past years. And my call is just to say this is the time for not just only sober reflection, but also a time for spiritual cleansing and a time to pray for this country and also pray for our leader. The Bible says we should pray for those in authority so that they can govern with the wisdom and knowledge that is necessary. And that's all I'm suing for this time, that this offers an opportunity to intensify our prayers for our president, but also for our country. You acknowledge that it's taking some tough decisions, and part of your message reads that um, the question is, will Nigerians be patient with him to carry out the surgery necessary to restore and rescue Nigeria? You seem to have qualified this as a surgical operation uh, being taken by Dr. Tinobu, if we put it that way. But in the field of medicine, there is what they call anesthesia. Do you think this administration is doing well in that regard to provide the succor, you know, in the period of time within which these top decisions are being made? Absolutely. You know, when, when you look at governors the world over, every government urges for patience and understanding, so it's not different. Uh, but also, when you apply anesthesia, even within the medical field, it takes a while. You know, you apply it and then it takes a while to work and it takes a while to wealth. It's a process. And I, I believe that this country needs a surgical operation. And I say we have a surgeon general, somebody adept at governance, somebody experienced from the corporate world and also in the political uh, system, and is the man for the moment. I, I spoke about Robert uh, Frost, who wrote uh, about the road less traveled. And the fact that this president has chosen the, low, the road less traveled by a previous president means that you know, there are some things we have to put up with. And he has chosen the, the road less traveled that will lead this country uh, in the direction that is needed. We've thought this should have been taken, and I know that this anesthesia has been applied, the palliatives, other policies are coming in place. You see this government responding as quickly as they can, but of course we must be patient for this to work through. Recall even if you have malaria and you complain bitterly to the doctor, it's, it's not going to give you seven injections at once. It's going to you spread your medication, spread your injection over days and slowly you recover and get back to your full strength. This economy will get back to its full strength. We've seen a lot of uh, efforts, policy initiatives coming from the CBN, from the uh, Minister of, uh, of uh, Finance, and other segments. We see several organs of government activated in this direction in support of what the president is doing. And I think that's, that's the focus. It's about this country. Uh, if you listen to President Joe Biden's speech, he said, look, this country is a country that comes back from setback and becomes a comeback. And I think for Nigeria, we can come back from our setbacks and our delays 
into a com become a comeback country. And I think that's what this president is about, to make sure that this country comes back. President Biden also said in the State of Union address, don't support your country only when it wins. You must support your country all the time. President Obama also said that when you wish that your president fails, it, that means... If I can jump in quickly, it brings us then... It brings us then to the question of how long does it take? What is the gestation period of these ideas and decisions? Uh, you're asking Nigerians to be patient. Uh, we are probably entering the 10th month of this administration. It, it, do you think there's a timeline that you're privy to uh, within which um, all of these efforts will come to fruition and Nigerians will begin to get some relief? Well, you see, like I said earlier, if you're adept at governance, you know, there's no silver bullet. It's social engineering. And it takes time. What is important is that, we're, you know, are we getting the, the right signs? Are we getting the right indications? Are we getting the right leadership? Do we have a president that is leading from the front? Are the lieutenants also, you know, sitting up and doing what is right? And I think we, we're getting uh, the, the right sounds. We're getting uh, the, the right vibes. We, we see uh, a, a determination to make sure that we survive the headwinds. So as to placing time on it, realistically, from the point of, of uh, governance, you can't really place the time on it. But I know very clearly that we're headed in the right direction, that this present situation will not last forever. And I think that Nigerians should be patient. Things will get better. The presidency itself has a time tenor, so um, I understand your point. But also, <laughs> this president is also running against time. Do you agree, Mr. Dari? Well, I, well, yes, to some extent. Uh, you know, President has when, four, I, when I look I mean, back to... Four years, rather. Yes, we're just, we're not even up to the one-year mark, you know. Mm -hmm. And very often when you look at past governments, the first year is always a year of headwinds. You, 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 you have to really deal with a lot mm -hmm. of things. Governance is a continuum. You inherit liabilities. Mm -hmm. You inherit uh, assets. You, you consolidate on some programs. You review some. You bring in new ones. And it takes a while to work. Don't forget that some of these policies have to depend also on the sub-national governments, have to depend on local government, and the federal government must work through them. And it takes, it takes, it's a process. Now, we see that process taking place. And as it goes through, bottom up, uh, we'll see, uh, and top down, we will see the impact for uh, Nigerians overall. My Minister of Youths and Sports, Sunday Dari, thank you for talking to us. Thank you very much. Still to come.